Hi Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Venus, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Hope you guys have been well. So like I said, this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Venus. We're going to be looking into your love life, all right? Tell me about Gemini's love life. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what does not, all right? So what's going on in Gemini's love life? What is going on in Gemini's love life? All right. So you have the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, Ace of Wands. A lot is going on here, right? Um, but I feel like it's it's in your favor. It might be an uncomfortable time for you right now, but it is in your favor, right? It's to help sort some things out for you. You have the Three of Swords. You have the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. On the back, you have the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords. What has been stressing you out here? Okay. Clarifying the Justice, you have the Strength. You have the Nine of Wands. Have the hermit. You have the page of swords. You are not happy with your love interests at all, Gemini. Ace of Wands. Oh wow. The tower. Hmm. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Man, you have the Wheel of Fortune, Justice, and the Tower of Five of Wands. Uh-oh the fool. I do see drama here. I do. Okay. So let's see, Gemini. Um, <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune being clarified by the Three of Swords, all right? So with the Wheel of Fortune here, this is a karmic wheel, all right? It's pretty much saying karma is coming into this situation to sort the situation out, all right? To restore balance, fairness, all that good stuff. Whoever was in the wrong, they're about to get their karma. Um, I do feel, though, that for a lot of you guys, if you were in like that runner chaser, very unhealthy dynamic, the tables are now turning where this individual sees you moving on and they do not want you to move on at all. All right. Um, in Clarity of the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Three of Swords. So either you or your person, remember the energies can be flipped. All right. I feel like this energy of this partner here, they are fear fearing that there's been an ending, okay, to this connection. And I feel like this is the energy of the partner who was the runner in the past. Um, whatever karmic cycle that they were in has ended. And I feel like right when that karmic cycle ended, that's when this person realize that they needed to get to you but i feel like now that they're wanting to get to you you have moved on all right hence why they're feeling this heartbreak with the three of swords um in clarity of the wheel of fortune you have the six of pentacles so someone here is feeling it's them they're feeling like the tables have turned like man when i really when this person really wanted me, I was too busy being stuck in a karmic cycle. Now that that karmic cycle has ended, especially for those of you where your person was in a, you know, with a karmic or with a third party, it has ended, you know, now they want to be with you, but I feel like you're not interested or you are just tired of investing in the situation. Does that make sense? So it's like with the six of pentacles clarifying the wheel of fortune, Gemini, this is starting to feel like a um, like an unrequited love to them. In Clarity of the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Nine of Swords. So with the Nine of Swords, this is sleepless nights. They're worried. They are so worried that they have missed out on an opportunity with you. This person is like, I'm really worried about their their mental health right now. This is beyond stressed, okay? Um and guess what? This is them trying to come in as the Knight of Swords. They're going to come in any minute, any minute. For some of you, it's going to be in a matter of a few days or a couple of weeks, all right? And the thing is, they're not going to come towards you romantically. They're going to come towards you 
passionately, but it's going to catch you off guard and there's going to be tension, okay? Because they do not want you to move forward, especially for those of you who have met someone new. They are incredibly jealous. So you have the justice being clarified by the strength, all right? With the justice here, all about balance, like I said earlier, restoring fairness into the situation. So someone here is simply getting a taste of their own medicine and they do not like it, okay? There's someone here who does, um, I feel like with the strength, this person is being forced to confront their fears. For a lot of them, it's fears that they um, got from... Uh, from childhood trauma, you know, feeling unwanted, feeling abandoned because you're no longer giving them attention, because you're no longer chasing them. A lot of them do have abandonment issues, but it's time that they confront those feelings because it is due to those abandonment issues that even cause them to create this runner chaser dynamic uh, with you. Um, and then in Clarity of the Justice, you do have the Knight of Wands here. All right, so I just feel like with the Knight of Wands, this person does have a big fear of being abandoned. It's like, how dare my person not want me anymore, not show me attention anymore? And instead of them just taking the easy route and working on themselves and confronting these issues, they're going to try to fight it off. They can't run away from it, but they're going to try to, where this is them with the Knight of Wands coming towards you, all right? Pretty much after you. They're now chasing you. This is a lot of passion here that they're going to have for you. Um, I do feel like, honestly, to in this person's mind, it's like, how dare them leave me? How dare them not want me anymore? In Clarity of the Justice, you have the Hermit. All right. So with the hermit here, you really have left this situation alone. Okay. You really have like the hermit. Think of like a hermit crab isolating, you know, not wanting to talk to this person, just disappearing. Some of you it's, they're really upset with the way you left. Like you never gave them a response. You never gave them a reaction. Remember this person does like attention. You never gave it to them. It's like you just quietly got your stuff and left. And that is what's really, really bothering them because you're dealing with an individual whose ego um, is fed by attention. E even negative attention feeds this person's ego. You have the Page of Swords, all right? So with the Page of Swords here, they are watching you. They are trying to make things right, but I do feel like timing is not on their side. Hence, the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice because karma literally had to step into this situation because of what they were doing to you for the longest time. So time is not in their favor. It's too late to try to do the right thing. They're trying to, but it's too late, all right, with the Page of Swords here. They do want to come in. They have been watching you, figuring out how or when when is a good time to come in. Um, next, you have the Ace of Wands being clarified by the Tower. So pretty much they have discovered something about you. That is why they're so passionate to come towards you. For a good amount of you guys, they have discovered that you are seeing someone new. Even if you're not in a committed relationship, they either know for sure or they sense because you're not giving them attention anymore. They strongly sense that you are giving your attention to someone else. There is a lot of tension here with the Ace of Wands. Um, yeah, wow. In Clarity of the Ace of Wands, you do have the Two of Wands here. So with the Two of Wands, I'm telling you, you are on this individual's radar. I feel like they've made up their mind about you. They're just trying to like figure out how they can come at you without you. Um, pretty much, they're, okay, it's kind of manipulative, right? Because it's like, they're watching, trying to figure out how they can get you back. And a lot of them will use a manipulative tactic, especially here with the two of wands or trying to think, how can they get you back and, you know, dominate you, you know, and, and still have the upper hand without them having to be too vulnerable and beg you to come back. Um, wow. With the ace of wands, so in clarity of the ace of wands, you do have the five of wands here. It's going to cause tension. Like I said, this individual is, I, I feel like this person has a lot of wounds, maybe, you know, past wounds from another lover, or it could just be childhood wounds. Like I said, one of them is like abandonment issues. Um, instead of them just coming clean and 
expressing their love for you, I feel like they're gonna come in and like make you mad or irritate you or something here. This person still has ego. The Five of Wands is conflict, all right? Conflict is coming towards you if it hasn't already. Then you have the Fool, this is them. They have, let me tell you something, this person is not in a karmic cycle anymore. They have been freed. Okay, so when I tell you that you are on their mind, you're on their radar, you are like, they're watching you, okay? At this point, they're watching you and they're coming towards you big time with this fool here, taking this risk that they refused to take in the past. Now they're suddenly wanting to come towards you um, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be an inter interesting reunion or for some of you it's just going to be an interesting confrontation i feel like for a lot of you it is going to be a reunion because of this fool card here all right so gemini that's what i see going on in your love life um please remember it's general so take what resonates and leave what does not you're welcome to book a private reading with me um the link to my website is in the description box also please like comment and subscribe to support my channel Thank you so much. Um, you guys, please be safe out there and you have a great day.